Hey Virgo, all right, this is your general reading for today. All right, Virgo. This can go either way, okay? Um, one thing that I can say, I wanna actually address that, um, dealing with, with your work and career first. Let's talk about it because you had a card that, oh, here it is, you had a card. I just wanted to pull at least one oracle and you came out with the coin toss. Now we've talked about these huge, huge decisions that you're going to be making in the future, okay? And that is including with your work and career, that's including your love life. Okay? You, you have the Eight of Swords in your position, meaning how you're feeling right now. And part of the Eight of Swords talks about in your head, constantly thinking about something, feeling helpless, feeling like you cannot improve your situation. And for some of you, that's your money, right? Um, we're talking about your finances. Even if you do the coin toss, that kind of reminds me of the Two of Pentacles energy. Some of you guys have been juggling your finances. It's just been so hard for you financially to get ahead, okay? Um, you had the Five of Pentacles in your past position, which is a sense of lack. Usually that's like the poor card, right? So some of you have went into debt. Money has just not been good. And that is completely going to change, let me tell you. Okay, like I, even when I was pulling, I'm like, oh my God, Virgo, I'm so happy for you that this is going to happen for you in such a big way. Because now I see that after these turbulent times, you're going to be very comfortable. And I've told you this before, and I feel like I want to say that. I want to be able to like repeat myself so you guys can get comforted in some way. There is comfortability. That's what's comfortable. There is comfortability after this storm that you've been experiencing financially. Totally. Like you're not going to be in this position forever. And I feel like this is actually going to change most likely around April, May, June, somewhere in that area. You're going to see something unexpected that's going to happen for you as far as financially, hands down. Okay. Now, like I said before, it's not just about your money, right? Of course, you're going to have to make decisions about your finances, where you're going to live, which affects your finances, the job that you want to work at, that type of thing. Should you pick up another job? Should you leave one job over the other? All these are going to be themes in your life coming up for you very soon, Virgo. Love, Virgo. You had the tower. You had the tower. Now, okay, we've been seeing these aspects in your reading. Um for a very long time. And I feel like this is happening a lot with people who are already in a connection. For people who relationship, who's already, the, the foundation is crumbling. Now this is not going to affect every Virgo. But if you know that your relationship is crumbling, you know that your relationship is not, nowhere near where it's supposed to be, you most likely are going to be affected by that tower card within the next month or two. Okay, that's just what it is. A lot of you are dealing with someone who's on the fence about you. You can feel it and you know it. You could be on the fence about the person that, that's in your life right now. It feels like if you've been dealing with someone, whether you're married, whether you are uh, just dating someone, like I said, especially if you're dating and, and this person is in your life and you're wondering, you're like, I like them so much. I like them. I'm not really sure why we're not going anywhere. It's because someone else is around. I feel like what happened is, is that maybe they came across you, they liked you, they really fell for you, but there's still this baggage that's like hovering over them. It could be an, an ex-spouse. It could be something dealing with work. It's a choice that this person is going to have to make about you. And it's a very difficult choice. But one thing that I don't like about this choice is that it feels like they're gravitating more towards what's familiar. And that is a past person. That is someone that they have history with. That's what it seems like. Like they're gravitating towards that person. And you feel it. You're like, what is going on? Why is it not working? Both of us, we really like each other. So I feel like that's what some of you are experiencing. You may actually experience that in the future with someone new. But the thing is, is that like I've told you guys before, love for a lot of you are going to be, it's going to be a very shaky ground. Some things that are, that looks dead and looks like it's not going to work may end up working somewhere down the line. Truly. Okay. I'm telling you, this is how it works here. Um, but, you know, I do see that there's going to be so much fun this summer. I feel like there's going to be this sense of freedom that a lot of you are going to have. Maybe it's because you are leaving someone. Okay. But either way, either way. 
the freedom from the Eight of Swords, okay, remember the Eight of Swords is you feeling very trapped, constantly in your head about certain things, certain, certain situations with money and family and all of that other stuff. That's the freedom that you're going to get. Freedom um, to explore and to venture off, go out, travel, all of those things, okay? I, one thing that I will I will say that a lot of stuff is happening now. I feel like there is this sense of like something is about to change in your life. I know it. This is interesting. I, I actually wanted to pull one more card here for you. You came out with mother load. Oh my God. Mother load is so amazing. What does it say here? Prosperity. I told you, I didn't even have to pull a card. Prosperity, jackpot, success, good fortune, having plenty of money or sudden wealth. If you think about it, even with the tower card, it's something unexpected. You didn't even expect for this to even happen. Okay. So, you know, one thing that I can tell you here, Virgo, is that there's a very strong desire for someone that's I totally see in your reading. I, I totally see that, you know, especially if you're single, you're going to come across someone that you just like so much. And um, it is mutual. There's someone here that really digs you. But like I said before, I don't see it being as smooth as you would want it to be. Not all of you are going to experience tribulation in your relationship. But, you know, it's to roll. Sometimes it brings out the dramatics. Those are the people who are going to be running to the videos the most because they're experiencing this. Not all of you are. Um, there's going to be a sigh of relief. OK, for a lot of you with so many things that you've experienced in life. And this is exactly what I want for you, Virgo. I love you guys.